is how to load data onto this very same autonomous database using SQL developers uh, data pump import wizard. Okay, so for me to do that, uh, the first thing that I need to do is to, so the assumption is that we've already taken an export dump file from a source database, wherever that database is, and that data pump has already been stored onto uh, object storage or OCI. So in my case here, let me just show you where I already have my dump file. Um, and the buckets here, I go to um, uh, this bucket. Uh, so we have a bucket here called exp DMP. And this is actually the dump file that we will be uh, loading into the autonomous database using a SQL developer. Okay, so we already have our dump file. Um, the one prerequisite that we need to have before we are able to achieve this is basically to create a pre-authenticated request. So this is actually what is going to allow SQL developer access this dump file in object storage, okay? So what we do here is we just click on that and then uh, we click on create pre-authenticated request. Uh, be careful to only um, authenticate for the object, not the entire bucket for additional security. And then we just need to read this file. We are not writing into the um, dump file. So we leave it as is. You can change your expiration date, whatever you want, but we just click on create pre-authenticated request, okay? So we copy this uh, URL somewhere, okay? Um, this is what we are going to feed into uh, SQL developer for it to access um, that um, dump file. Okay, so with that done, uh, that's one of the prerequisites. The next thing that we have to do here is to um, create an ADB credential. Now, this is a credential that will be used as well uh, on, um, on uh, your SQL developer to access um, the autonomous database um, and uh, by default into these, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, the, 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 okay. So what we need to do here is to just come. Um, so before we create the credential itself, we need to create an import an, an, an auth token. This auth token is actually going to be the password for the credential that I just mentioned, okay? So what we do is we come to our profile here, the profile of the individual who is going to be running this import job. And uh, we click on auth token and click on generate token. We can give it a name. Let's call it imp token. Okay, like that. And then we just click on generate token. So we copy that token, paste it somewhere because remember that is what is going to be the password uh, for our uh, credentials uh, that we are going to create on ADB. Okay. Um, having done that, I think we now have all the credentials, uh, I mean, all the prerequisites necessary for us to go to SQL Developer. So what I'm going to do next is to go to my SQL Developer page. You can see this is my SQL Developer. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is, um, first thing is, I already have my database here. You can see that my database is there. I can reconnect to this database just to ensure that uh, it's not a stale connection. Okay, as that is happening, um, what you need to have available on your navigation page is the DBA tab, okay? If you do not see DBA, then all you need to do is to click on view, click on DBA, and in here you will find a lot of resources that are normally used by DBAs to monitor and manage the database. So things to do with uh, your DB configuration, um, performance, Arman, uh, you know, SQL tuning, storage, etc, etc. In this regard, we are only interested in data pump, okay? So we will be seeing that. However, before we proceed, remember I have to create my credentials as I said before. So to create your ADB credentials, uh, this is what you need to execute, okay? So I need to... Uh, copy that, okay? So I'll be using the DBMS Cloud Package and uh, create credential procedure to create a credential called ADW underscore credential. For the user, this is my user. Uh, who is actually going to be running the data pump uh, wizard. And then under password, this is where you actually copy the auth token that we've just created uh, a few seconds ago. 
Okay, so make sure you copy your auth token and you paste that under password here, okay? Very important to keep that between the single quotes and you just run your statement, okay? So this will actually create your uh, credential for you, okay? Now I think we have all the prerequisites necessary for us to now run data pump. So under DBA, you click on uh, data pump, okay? And then you can right click on import jobs. And the import jobs here, you click on data pump import wizard. It loads the wizard. And uh, what it does is that it gives a, uh, uh, so this is something that you will be familiar with for those of us who've run data pump jobs, export imports. These are things that you will already have been uh, familiar with. Um, so we just give it a name. So let's give it a name here, say ADB, ADB import or something for that matter, okay? ADB import. You can choose to run uh, your import to include your data and DDL, everything, or just either of the two. I'll leave it as the default. Um, depending on how you did your export, you can choose how you will do the import. So my export was a schema export. So I will also do a schema import. If you did a full export, you can choose whatever you wish here, okay? And I choose input files. Note that the first thing it's asking me for here is the credentials or directories. In our case, we created a credential. So what I need to do is to click on this part and uh, load our credential. Remember we had called it um, ADW underscore credential. So we pick that. And then under file names or URI, it is asking us for the pre-authenticated request that we copied uh, earlier from object storage. Okay, remember that is what gives us access to the dump file in object storage. So that is what we are going to copy here. Okay, let me copy that. Uh, let me delete everything here and copy that. Yes, I think that looks good. And then we just click on next. And uh, if you've done everything correctly, then you should see a list of schemas listed here. If you do not see any schemas here, then there must be a problem either with your pre-authenticated request or maybe your credentials have an issue or something like that. So the schemas that will be loaded here is what we will be moving on to our selected source schema. So this is the available source schema and we are going to be selecting whichever we want here. So mine has loaded correctly, which means everything looks good. And I just click on that to move it to our selected schemas that we need to import and click on next. I do not need to remap any schemas or table spaces. So I'll just go ahead and skip that. And here you can see a lot of info in terms of what you need to do with your import. If you want to thread it or uh, parallelize it where you want your logs and things like that. So I'm going to skip this, okay? And just go to the next page. Here you can choose to schedule your job to run later if you so wish to, or you can run it immediately. I'm going to run my job immediately. So I'll just click on next. And here you find a summary of what we've done so far. So I'm doing my import into this database. I'm doing a schema import uh, of the HR schema. And these are the options that I just saw. You also have a PL SQL block of all the operations that we just picked in this wizard, which you can repeatedly play elsewhere, okay? With that, I click on finish and uh, boom, your import job is now running, okay? So this shouldn't take long and you will be able to see uh, some info here about your statement running. Um, so you will see a lot of things here. So your job is executing uh, and uh, down here, if I looked at these log files, you should be able to see what just happened, okay? Um, so we can see that uh, we have this uh, uh, script running here. We have uh, blah, 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 blah. And the procedure has been executed successfully. From the autonomous uh, database console, we can also view what just happened, okay? So we go back to our autonomous database here, mm, okay? And then what we need to do is to uh, select our autonomous database and then click on database actions. And this time we'll click on view all database actions. And uh, under administration here, we click on data pump and we should be able to see that one job was run successfully, um, none is stopped and none is executing, meaning our job has completed successfully. 
let me refresh this page and you can see here, this is the job that we just run. Remember we called it ADB imp. Um, SD just to show you that this is an import that was done using SQL developer. If you want to see the logs, all you need to do is to click on these three buttons and click on view logs, okay? Under view logs here, you'll be able to see exactly what just happened. So you are able to see, uh, I guess I didn't uh, delete uh, my stuff here. But yeah, you can see that the job has been run successfully. So that's it. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.